Saunders would? Stalked the foggy streets of Victorian London, menacing women with his deadly knife. That doesn't sound much like Lou. Caught this morning with one. With a what? With a knife. That doesn't make her a serial killer. So how did the catch jack the rip of them? Um oh. He didn't. Taking digs the dirt. It's investigative journalism. Rooting around in the issues that affect young people. Going undercover to dig out corruption. Defending the individual against... Okay, okay. Just as long as you keep it legal and sensible. Of course. Ah, we're all here. I just wanted to have a constructive look at our little experiment last week. Well, I don't know about you two, but I had a fantastic time. <laughs> and, and the three of us really learnt a lot, you know, being on the other side of the fence. Yeah, it was alright for you to have a fantastic time, but we didn't realise how hard a job it is. That's right. You know, there's a lot more to running in the grove than sitting in the office telling people off. Anyway, you two, thanks for all your hard work. It's alright. So... Do you want us to, like, carry on, giving you a hand? Actually, Stumpy, there is something you could do. I want you to find the rabbits you lost. I don't want any more calls from the owners. So it's find the rabbits time or else. Diane, you brought the baby? Oh, isn't he a puppet? Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little fingers. Oh, yeah, and he's gorgeous. What is it with girls and babies? I mean, you can't play with them. They don't do anything. Yeah, I mean, you can't even talk to them properly. What was it like, yeah, when you gave birth? Was it really painful? Well, no, as it happened. You know, with the anaesthetic. That have a caesarean. What's a caesarean? It's an operation. They cut you open and take the baby out. Oh, cool. He's such a sweetie. Do you have to, like, breastfeed him? No. He's got a bottle. Just as well. And how is business today in the retail trade? Business is bad. Ah, Brad's hot stuff. Stealing your customers, right? Might help if we had something to sell. Hey? We've run out of stock. Stuart didn't realise he had to actually order anything. Maybe something around here somewhere. Uh, no, no, hang on. Leave it to me. Oh, Adam, he's so cute. Not when he's screaming the house down at 3 o'clock in the morning, he's not. I'd rather be clubbing. He's an e-bother, are you? Hiya, where are you? Hello, little one. <coughs> Leanne, I think he might need changing. What's it, Milo? Well, you can have to use the boys' toilets. The girls' ones are still being repaired. Yeah, but does it have to be today? <sighs> OK, OK. Microphone. Leads. Tape recorder. What's all this? Technical equipment. For dick and digs the dirt. Sarah, man, I'm supposed to be undercover. You might as well just give us a big sign saying muggers watch out. All right. Hold on, what's that for? It's me disguise. Got it. You don't record your report. You phone in live. The fearless campaigner telling it like it is from the front line. We're supposed to see it. Sarah, could be putting myself in serious danger. Take Benny with you. What? You could be his assistant. Think of yourself as Dr. Watson to Bill's Sherlock Holmes. Or Sergeant Lewis to Bill's Inspector Morse. Inspector Morse. It's more like Miss Marple. There you go. Where'd you get this? Sniffed it out. Some idiot must have hid it away. Oh, oh Lucy, a real-life customer. What can I do you for? There we go. Not bad, eh? Mm. Practice makes perfect. Oh, what's that yeah. smell? What do you think? You can't do that now, yeah? Why not? It's a boy's toilet, isn't it? Yeah. He's a boy, ain't he? Yeah. Come on. Let's go and see the grove. Don't miss our groundbreaking investigative program, Dick and Digs the Dirt. Find out what Bill unearths today. Dave. 
can I have a word? Look, not if it's about Scott again. No, I'm sorry, it's not about that. I missed you this morning. I just wondered if you remembered about tonight. Tonight? Haley and um, Heather coming out to dinner. Hey, I'm cooking. Look, Dad, I really don't... Eve, please try to be there. This is important to me. Happy little family gathering, eh? As I see it, Bradley, it's a plain disloyalty. How did you work that one out? Because you, you're depriving the Grove. Well, all these good people of a significant source of income. Look, I'm giving them a choice. My delicious burgers or your boring old snack food. It's called the market economy. All right, right. Well, two can play in that game. For the next half hour, everything at the snack bar is half price. Free drink with every burger for the next half hour. to go over to our undercover reporter, Bill Dakin, at a secret location not far from here. Let's hear what he's dug up for us. Hello? Hi, Bill, it's Sarah. What's happening? What's happening is, my so-called assistant isn't taking things seriously. He keeps complaining and moaning his board. I tell him these things take time, but... <laughs> Bill, that's great. You're live on BGR. What's going on? Bill. Bill. Little bit of technical trouble there. Hey. But we'll catch up with Bill soon this. in Dakin Digs the Dirt. Ben. Me. Dakin. Hello, Ben. Welcome to the Grove. He seems so content. How's he been? Oh, he's putting on weight. He only cries twice a night. He's really good. God, this takes me back. But he wasn't this quiet. She was a little madam. Dad. Yeah, still is sometimes. Come on, then, Ben. Taking on his first tour of the Grove. So, how's Mum doing? I'm all right. Well, pretty tired, to be honest. Tough bone, run through a truck. How's that? It's working fine. You coming with us? Where are you going? Oh, he's on the trail of Lou, you know. The serial killer. What? She's murdered somebody else? No. Well, we don't know. Thought we might try a bit of digging. More digging? Not the garden. Lou's allotment. We only looked in the shed. What if there's something buried there? No thanks. I've got more important things to do. Right now, sir. Bidding up. Bill, is that you? Do you think you can manage to stay on the line this time? Yeah, sorry. I panicked. Well, never mind that now. Let's get on with it. And now, I can reveal that Dakin digs the dirt on... Mobile phone sex. Mobile phones are stolen every day, and it's on the increase. This is Bill Dakin, reporting from deep in the heart of the city, from a hotbed of crime. That's right, I'm talking about your local shopping centre. A shopping centre is a paradise for muggers. Take out your phone here and you can get done over in the twinkling of an eye. Today, Sarah, I'll be tackling these muggers who make our lives a misery, tracking them down and exposing their vicious crimes. Uh, this is taking them to cover in the city. We'll turn you to BGR. <laughs> Bye. Did he see us? Well, Ben, you've seen all the growth now, haven't you? Save the best to last. So, why are we starting here? Good territory for rabbits. Oh, and um, look out for a nest of twigs and moss. Or a hoard of nuts in a hollow tree. Isn't that squirrels? Shh. Yes, sir. 
vibrations. I'll check for rabbit droppings. We did them in guides last week. This is the place where we remember the other Ben. It's very special to me, this place. And I hope it's going to be special for you as well. Hey Ben, look. Look who this is. This is Tony Bear. Say hello to Tony. Hello Tony Bear. Hello. Hello Tony Bear. Push off Smelly and take your ugly baby with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oi, come here! Joke's over. Let's go. And now on BGR, special request from Adam, specially for Baby Benjamin. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. I think it's nice that he wants to take Ben for a walk. Benjamin? Where'd you been? Oh, I've just been sorting Robert and Jamie out. Huh? You okay? Look at all of these. Where did it all come from? It's been all right. No thanks to you. You can't just leave a baby on its own. Anything might happen. It was just for a second. A second is all it takes, Adam. It's not a game you can just pick up and put down whenever you feel like it. Oh, I know that. We didn't ask to be here. So it's our job to look after him 24-7. I'm sorry, I didn't think. You better not go alone. Great! You found them! I thought we only lost two rabbits. Yeah, we did. And that one's me neighbours. And this one's the Auntie Jules. So who did this stuff belong to? Oh, Stuart. Have you been practising your magic again? It's not what you think, honestly. Oh, oh. You alright? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Just give us a minute, eh? Whew. I don't know why you just don't take this thing off, you know. You must be boiling. Oh, I'm alright, man. Let's just keep going, eh? No, look, this is stupid. Look, why don't we just chuck it in and Listen, go... Listen, I don't care how stupid you think this is. At least I'm having a go and doing something. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I'll get you an ice cream. Cool you down, yeah? Alright. Sarah? Are you ready for this? What is it now, Bill? Just uh, put us on the air and see what happens there. Eh? Okay. Back to Take and Dig the Dirt. Live. Your undercover agent has uncovered some likely suspects. I'm here on the front line, Sarah. So stay tuned, listeners. I'm going to follow them. Can't wait, Bill. Stay on the line. Well done, mate. You found them. <laughs> and then some. But where did all the other ones come from? Come on, stop me thinking about it, man. You know, it's the birds and the bees. You put two and two together, you get 24. But there weren't any birds or bees. Just rabbits? Look, you take Flopsy Bunny home, all right? And I'll warn the council to turn it to water ship down. Told you Stuart would find them eventually. <laughs> What are you doing here? Um, nothing. Well, you know, nothing special. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Paddy, hey! Bill, what, what's happening? Sorry, everyone. Obviously, another technical hitch there. Let's hope we can get back to Dig and Digs the Dirt very soon. Bill? Are you alright? Don't you want your ice cream? Binny man, I've just been mugged. Give us your phone. Me what? Your phone. Mine's just been stolen. I've got to let Sarah know what happened. Well, I haven't got it. Oh, well, why not? Well, I didn't like to bring it in case it got nicked. Oh. Look at the state of me hands. And for what? We didn't even find nothing. Might as well just pack it all in. Not yet. There's one more place we haven't tried. Lou's bedroom. Hello. Where did you come from? Come here. Come on. Oh, oh you're going to be a very little girl then. 
Absolutely not. Council want every single one of these cutted off the animal shelter. Oh, that's a shame. Dump, I'm heading off. Hang on. <laughs> Where'd they spring from? Oh, Achilles, don't tell me you don't know about the birds and the bees either, mate. Oh, hang on a second. I can't leave this place unattended. How am I going to get rid of this lot? Uh, I can take them for you. If you pay my taxi fare. Sorted. Problem solved. Right. I have got a date with Nigella Lawson. Hey. I'm cooking for Heather and the girls tonight. Oh, yeah. Hey, good luck with that, mate. Cheers, mate. See you later. See ya. What's this? Case for the paramedics. She's been sick. I think it might be food poisoning. Really? Food poisoning? Hi, I'd like a taxi straight. What have you eaten today, Zoe? Um, I had breakfast. And after breakfast? When I got here, I had a burger from Bradley's store. A burger? I knew it. Leave it to me. Thank you very much. You sure about this, bud? Of course I am. We've got plenty of time. Lou said she'd be back late. Yeah, but what if she changes her mind? Come on, Mickey. Are you a man or a mouse? <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Bradley, I don't care what paperwork you've got. I intend to get into health and safety and close you down. Hold on a minute, Dom. That's not fair. You've got no proof. What's up? Dom thinks I've given someone food poisoning. Is that right? Can you check the date on that, then, please? It's not one of ours. Funny! It's just been bought from the snack bar. Yeah, well... All right. Some idiot must have put the stuff that we normally chuck out in a new box. But I can't see that causing food poisoning. How are you feeling now, then, Zoe? She's a bit better, aren't you? I just rang her mum. I'm taking her home. Mum sees the ball being sick. She thinks it might be a bug. I think you... Oh, Brad, an apology, couldn't you? Yeah, well, I might have jumped to conclusions. Sorry, Bradley. Hiya. Any chance you could lend a hand? Eve, can you get that? Eve? Hello, Eve. Hiya. Hiya. Come on in. So what exactly is it that we're looking for then? You know, letters, photos, personal stuff. Diaries. Maybe somewhere where she confesses. What about this? Great. Dog? That must be Nick. Evidence. C. Signed. Nick Gallagher. But he only wrote this three months ago. How could he do that if he was dead? Well, maybe Lou forged it. And why would you do that? He's only talking about some national savings bonds. Well, I don't know, do I? And what exactly is it that you don't know? Did I uh, use too much chilli? I'm not hungry. I'm afraid it's only ice cream for dessert. Ice cream's fine. Hey, when you come over to ours, I'll make you Eve's pudding. You ever had that, Eve? It's a sort of sponge with apples I in it. I know what Eve's pudding is. My mum used to make it for me. I'd rather you didn't bother. Excuse me, I've got to do my homework. Eve, I'm really sorry about that. It's okay. The chilli was fine, wasn't it, Haley? I'm waiting. Sorry, Lou. I know I'm not allowed in your bedroom when you're out. Never mind me bedroom. What gives you the right to go through all my personal things? We were looking for evidence. We know all about what you did to your husband. You mean my ex-husband? Yes. The one you murdered. The one I what? What in the world would make you think that? 
We found a bone in the garden of your old house. Yes, that would be Molly's. Molly? Yes, Molly. My dog. I buried her in the garden. You murdered the dog as well. But Adam and Luke said you had to leave the old house because you murdered Nick. They said he was buried in the garden. So we dug it up? What? Hello? Anyone at home? Adam, look. I want a word with you. Ice cream? Look, I could go away again if you want. I'd rather not. You started kissing. Ugh. Yeah, you're right. Ugh. <laughs> so how did you find out? And why didn't you tell me? They weren't letters. They said they wanted to tell you themselves. Great. So I walk in and find them all over each other. Yuck. <laughs> well, give me that ice cream. I'm starving. It was only a joke. A joke! We were just wearing them up. It was just the first thing that popped in my head when he asked why we left the old house. And you said you knew Nick would never come back. That's because he's in Southampton with his fancy woman. And that's why I never want to see his face again. Sorry, Lou. I think it's time you went, pet. Hey, leave the house. I'll get them later. Never mind. You'll soon have a dishwasher of your own. And I don't mean me. When we move in. Oh, shh. <laughs> Can't tell them yet. I want Eve to get used to the idea of us being a couple first. Look, I just want to say sorry if I was a bit, like, well, off. Sorry, Heather. Thanks, Eve. It's nice of you to say so. Well, we better get our coats. Thanks, Eve. It's right, Dad. Sorry if I've been a bit of a pain. But no more secrets. Promise. I promise. Since Ben was born, I've been thinking more and more about my own son. About having to give him up. Wondering where he is and, and what he's doing. I've been trying to track him down. Have you found him? No. That's what I was doing this afternoon. I've come to a dead end. What's all this? I'm going back to social services. I can find the way. Don't be daft. Come here. You're going to be all right, pet. We look after you. I want to learn to protect myself. This is about me. Who's going to give me a job? New Zealand. London. Australia. Japan. Hey. You've just gone and written all about Lou's private life. I've got my sights set on something more ambitious, not splitting burgers, I tell you. Could be treasure. Ah!